Hello friends, welcome to my online class. We are asked which is larger, 31 to the power of 11 or 17 to the power of 14. We can write 17 to the power of 14 as 17 to the power of 3 times 17 to the power of 11. But, but 17 to the power of 3 is greater than 16 to the power of 3. That is... What we're going to have here is 16 to the power of 3 times 17 to the power of 11. So what we're going to have now, 16 to the power of 3, we can write it as 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Then 2 to the power of 4 is 16, then times the power of 3. Yeah? So if we have that multiplied by 17 to the power of 11. So this becomes 2 to the power of 12 times 17 to the power of 11. So this can be give us 2 to the power of times 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 11 times 17 to the power of 11. So this becomes 2 open bracket 2 times 17 raised to power 11. This becomes, would that be the case now? Finally, it becomes 2 into 34 raised to power 11. This result is greater than, is greater than uh, 31 raised to power 11. This is greater than this. Hence, we can now conclude that 17 to the power of 14 is greater than 31 to the power of 11. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to my online math. We are asked to prove that 1 equals to 2. For us to do that, let's assume something. Let's assume something. We have to prove that. We have to prove that. So we say let A equals to B. So multiply both sides by A. If we multiply both sides by A, we are going to have, if A equals to B, we can, let's say, call it equation 1. Multiply both sides by A, we are going to have A squared. A square equals to a b. So subtract both sides by b square. We are going to have a square minus b square equals to a b minus b square. So if that be the case now, what are we going to have? We are going to have we can we're going to have difference of two square here which is equals to a minus b a plus b then this other side we're going to have b open bracket a minus b so a minus b goes with a minus b we're going to have a plus b equals to b so if a plus b equals to b but we already know said assume that but we already said that a is equals to b so if that be the case now we are going to have anywhere we see a we can put b there we're going to have b plus b equals to b 2b equals to b this implies that this implies that 2 is equals to 1 but at, as at this point in time, we are already having a kind of... At this point in time, where do we get it wrong? 2 equals to 1, but we're asked to prove that 1 is equals to 2. So where do we get it wrong? This, we assume that A equals B. We are correct here. Then A squared equals B squared. We are correct at this point. Then we multiply both sides by... Um, by we subtracted and multiplied both sides. Okay, we subtracted both sides by b square. This is correct. Then we divided both sides by a minus b, which is might be um, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is why we made a mistake. So you know that a you know that is zero divided by a number is undefined is undefined 
0 divided by a number is undefined. So remember that a number divided by 0, or yeah, dividing anything by 0 is, uh, sorry, dividing anything by 0 is undefined. So what are we going to now have? This leads to a kind of ambiguous solution. So this leads to a kind of ambiguous solution that 2 is equal to 1. Meanwhile, we're asked to prove that 1 is equal to 2. This is an ambiguous solution. So be very careful not to make this kind of mistake.